So how does this apply when trauma comes to school? Well, trauma causes the brain to function from the survival center. The survival center plays an important role in everything that we do. It, it helps us, it helps protect us, it helps us survive. But your brain is supposed to be able to recover quickly and go and, and uh, elevate to the higher brain centers. But what happens when uh, young children are affected by trauma? There's an ongoing effect where the brain remains more in the, tr in the survival centers than it should. And the result of that is it becomes difficult for the child to access the higher brain states. So think about that. If this was your brain, your lower brain states are here, and here's your emotional states, you know, when, when something happens, you're like, am I safe? But your emotional states, they kind of protect the, the, the lower brain states and say, it's okay, it's okay, I'm sad, I'm scared, but it's, I'm, I'm crying, but it's okay, it's okay. But now, the higher brain states where executive functions, that's these fingers, these kick in and go, okay, I'm okay, now what should I do? And now what we're in is our higher brain state. But what happens is something happens that we call it flipping our lid. And these lower brain states are exposed, exposed, exposed all the time. So for children who have chronic kinds of um, ex experiences that cause sort of ongoing chronic uh, stress, things like I live in a neighborhood where I hear a lot of uh, gunshots a lot. I see a lot of violence. <gasps> what was that noise? Huh? What was I'm always on guard. I'm what was that? Uh, is somebody on the, on the doorstep because I'm afraid or a child who is homeless who there's they're always on guard. Don't touch that. Don't do that. Don't come over here. Be with me and there's always a a, a heightened fear factor that keeps that child in the lower parts of their brain more than it should. Well, of course, you can probably figure out the impact of that. The impact is I'm not able to get up here so much. Now I'm in school. The teacher is asking me to think about this or perform this task or come and join us for this math game. It's time to choose sinners. Let's sing a song. Do you remember the words? Why aren't you with us? Why aren't you with us, Courtney? because Courtney is still here in that lower brain state. And so asking Courtney to join the fun and you know, be in a part of the game or draw a picture about what happened this weekend and did you have a good weekend or um, you know, whatever it is, please pay attention to this fun story I'm reading. Why aren't you laughing? This is a funny story. And Courtney's still stuck here. So because she can't access that higher brain state where we have create creativity and we're doing all the things that we need, accessing the, the functions that we need to be successful in school activities.